When done well, heroes who turn into villains are awesome and give the audience a chance to experience the full potential of the hero without the restraints of having to be good. It also makes for a powerful twist in the story. But with great power comes great stupidity as some directors mess this up and have the hero turn into the villain in the stupidest way all for the sake of a movie twist that doesn't even work. So here are 10 times movie heroes lamely became the villain. Spoilers ahead. One, Tron. Despite having some superb visuals and some awesome music, there was one thing lacking in Tron, and that's Tron. You know, the hero security program from the original movie. They basically just turned him evil and made him into a henchman, who crops up a few times in the film and that's it. What a not very awesome way of bringing back an awesome character. Number two, John Connor. The idea of turning John Connor into an evil robot was actually the original planned ending for Terminator Salvation, in which John Connor dies, they graft his skin onto Marcus, whose eyes go red and he ends up killing everyone. Which would have been a terrible ending, and fortunately they decided against it. But unfortunately in Terminator Genesis, the underwhelming transformation of turning John Connor into an evil robot, done by nanobots on a cellular level, that kind of happens partly off screen, was just sloppy. And the purpose of Skynet turning John Connor into a robot was just lame. Number 3. Harry Osborn The story behind this one is also sloppy, as the whole reason for Harry Osborn hating Peter Parker and thus becoming the new Green Goblin after his father's death was just down to a misunderstanding that his butler knew about all along and when he did finally tell Harry, you know, your father kind of killed himself, the evil Green Goblin turns good again. What a waste. 4. Jill Valentine Jill Valentine turning evil and actually working for Umbrella happened in Resident Evil 5, the game, where after presumed dead because of jumping out of a window with Wesker whilst fighting him, she later comes back under the control of Wesker and is used to fight against her friends. But in Resident Evil Retribution, there's absolutely no backstory explaining why she suddenly become evil working for Umbrella. 5. Carl Mordo after the credits in Doctor Strange, there's a cutscene where we see Mordo approach Jonathan Pangborn and take away his powers, saying, Too many sorcerers. And so, out of the blue, we see that Mordo doesn't like sorcerers anymore and wants to get rid of them, using his own sorcery. Hmm. 6. Jim Phelps the decision to turn the much-loved leader of the IMF team in the original series, Jim Phelps, into a bad guy was one that didn't go down very well among fans. Even Peter Graves, the original Phelps actor, refused to do the movie after he found out about it. And the fact that some fans like to consider the movie separate to the series means that this was a bad decision. 7. Ugg After killing off all the remaining Critters in Critters 3, bounty hunter Ugg returns in Critters 4 as a bad guy. Which just comes out of nowhere. A ruthless now protector of the critters, willing to kill innocent people in order to protect them, who gets killed off by the hero. What a waste of a good character. 8. Kirsty Cotton. Daughter of Larry Cotton, Kirsty Cotton usually plays the protagonist in the Hellraiser films. But in Hellraiser Hellseeker, she plays the wife of main character Trevor, who basically tried to kill her by making her open the puzzle box and cheated on her as well. But after a car crash, she spends most of the movie trying to remember what happened, while suffering from weird hallucinations like a creepy guy watching him, coughing up an eel, pincushion head man, and also seeing the women he slept with brutally murdered. But in the end, it turns out that he's not actually hallucinating, he's actually dead. And it was all thanks to Kirsty Cotton, who made a deal with Pinhead to save her own soul by trading in five other souls. So she killed Trevor's lovers and Trevor. So basically she just becomes a, a killer for the sake of a shock ending. 9. Ben Keo. Ben Keo is a secondary character in the 1982 action comedy film 48 Hours, but in the 1990 sequel Another 48 Hours, it ends up turning out that he's the infamous Iceman who's actually responsible for the events in both movies. This just seems to be a cheap twist for the sake of trying to link up both movies. And how Eddie Murphy's character didn't spot him in the first movie is a mystery. 10. Luke Devereaux In this final entry of Universal Soldier, despite having some amazing action scenes and well-choreographed fight scenes, Jean-Claude Van Damme is hardly in the movie, disappointing many fans. And the change from Van Damme being the hero in the original movies to the mess of the fourth movie is just a bit too jolting. Well, those were some heroes lamely becoming villains that we found. Please let us know in the comments below what you thought about them. 
For your daily celeb fix, subscribe.